In this video, we're going to cover the email blast creation process in Salsa. Uh, I'm going to walk through creating a blast from scratch, but for those of you that like to send using a previous blast, we've added this little widget to your email blast dashboard that lists out past blasts, allows you to select one, click recycle blast, and then you can start creating your blast using that old content. Uh, but for now, we're going to click on the email blast tab, and that's how I got to this dashboard page. Uh, from there, I'll click on the create a blast and then create blasts. This brings me to the three-step process for creating an email blast. As you can see, we reduced it from the about 612 steps in uh, the old system to just three in Salsa, which is very simple. Create a blast, choose a recipients, and then preview and send it. First things first, we're going to choose an email template. Um, we give you a nice little thumbnail preview uh, for you so you can always remember what template you're choosing. And when I select that, you can see it load into my HTML editor below, which we'll get to in just a moment. But first things first, I'm gonna enter in a reference name. And again, this is just for your internal use only. Uh, so you can find your blast later on. Uh, you can see my from email name, my from email address, and my reply to email address have been pre-populated. This data comes from my configuration settings in my account, which will be covered in another video uh, tutorial. I can enter in a subject line. As you can see, if I hold my mouse over this, I'll get a little tooltip that will uh, provide a little more information. Um, and we have that all throughout Salsa. Now I'm going to call this Anthony's Great Test. And now I'm going to go down to the actual HTML content. When I click into the uh, window here, you can see that I get a toolbar listing out a whole bunch of options, very similar to Microsoft Word um, from full source editing. And this editor, unlike our previous one, uh, does not delete your content, does not rewrite content. It is very clean. And for those of you that like to really get into the HTML, this will allow you to edit the full source of your HTML content from the opening HTML tag to the closing one. It's very nice. Uh, we have a paste from Word content. So for any of you who've written content up in Word and then pasted it in and then wondered why you have weird question marks. Um, use this paste from Word. It will clean up a lot of the uh, little gremlins that Microsoft throws in there. Um, but I'm going to start writing my blast now and I like to say dear and then the first name that comes up for my supporter list. Uh, to do that I'll use a merge field and in this case I'm going to choose first name. So what you see here is this bracket bracket first underscore name bracket bracket this is a little command to our database that says uh, when you find a supporter you're going to send to, pull their first name and replace that here. So if I'm sending to Joe Smith, for example, this would be replaced with Dear Joe Smith for his mail. Or actually Dear Joe, since I just chose his first name. How are you? Here is a cool link. Cheers, Anthony. That's my, the extent of my email message to him. If I select this, here's a cool link now and click the little link tool, which looks like a little bit of a chain link, I get a link editor window, which allow me to enter in a URL, which is really handy. Um, let's see if I bring this more into frame for you. Uh, you can see the choices from the link type, whether it be a URL, um, an anchor link, um, or something else. Uh, protocol being the HTTP, HTTPS, what have you. Uh, if I click OK, you can see the link's been inserted. And that's my email. I can also insert images. Um, and I do have to tell you the image editor in here is great. Uh, scroll down further, we'll see the I have an area to enter in the text version of my email. Uh, we like to send the text version because some people cannot read HTML email. So a very simple thing to do is just cut and paste your content from your HTML to here. You can see I copied the uh, the alt text for the, the banner I have up there. Um, so it puts that title in there from what I want. I don't want that in my text. Um, you can also see that I've uh, copied over the merge field correctly. Make sure that you don't uh, delete or accidentally remove any of these brackets because then it won't work. You also notice that the link didn't copy over because this is sending a text email and uh, text emails don't handle links so you have to manually type in the URL someone will go to, and then everything will be okay. So that's the creation process. Pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to click Save and Continue. 
And on the next step, I'm going to choose who do I target it to. Now, the first choice is to send to your entire list, which is great. Or you have the query uh, interface, which we're going to cover in depth in uh, another tutorial, because uh, the query interface is really powerful. Um, very briefly, I'm going to I'll cover this, but you can choose um, to target specific groups. Uh, so you can say groups is a member of high donors, and then uh, it's going to send to everyone that's in that high donor group. Uh, in this case, I just want to send it just to myself. So I'm going to choose supporter fields, uh, and I'm going to choose email address and email address equals. And then I'm going to enter in my email address. And now I'm going to click save and continue. Now step three, it's going to tell you who it's targeting. Well, it's just going to one person. The reason for that is because I target it specifically to myself. Uh, if you send to your entire list, say you have a list of a, a supporter list of 100 people and you click send to entire list, you may notice that it's not targeting to the full uh, supporter list. You might come back with 97 or 90 people. The reason for this is this number discounts bad email addresses and people with no email. So if you have a supporter list where people are missing email addresses or they've unsubscribed or we have found their email address to be bad in the past, it will not target them. Uh, it's pretty rare for someone's supporter list and sending to their entire list for those numbers to be equal. So don't get too worried if you um, see the numbers not matching up perfectly. There's nothing broken. We're just not going to send out to uh, wrong or inaccurate addresses. Uh, the next choice you have is to schedule the date and time. So if you click in here, you get a little calendar widget, which will allow you to select any date uh, in the future. And I can click and say April 25th, and then I can schedule the time. If I click there, I get a pop-down uh, menu that will list out uh, dates and times. And I'll say 4 o'clock. So here on April 25th at 4 p.m., my blast will go out. Um, I can enter in a test email address and uh, I'm going to send a test blast to myself because it's always good to uh, send one before you send it to your entire target. Uh, you can enter in multiple test addresses just by separating them with a comma and then I can enter in a, another address. But in this case, I'll just send them one. I can see the subject line I've entered. Now I get to preview my content, the HTML preview, my text preview, uh, and then below here, who I targeted, yep, where email address equals. I can also choose to add to a web page, which will add it to a online archive. Um, and what I'm going to actually do is I want to send this blast immediately. And so today is uh, March 23rd, and I'm going to set it to a time that's already passed so it will send the blast immediately. If you want to send the blast immediately, you can skip this step. It will be pre-populated with the current date and time already. Uh, so if I click send email blast now, it will send the blast. And as we wait for this page to load, you get right to the statistics of the blast you've sent. So conversion rate, um, click-through rates, open rates, number sent. Uh, number failed. You can see so far and you can get see how many links were in the message, how many of those were clicked. Uh, since I haven't opened my email yet and gotten this, uh, you can see that no one's received it. But that's how you send an email blast in Salsa. I hope this was helpful.